the reason I, I decided to build a Ranger was um, I wanted to build an Australian designed boat and I think the Ranger is great design. Um, I went down and I met Bill Gales and he was very excited another one was going to be built. Told me the history of the Rangers and his father. John Crawford, um, Mark Pearce, and other Ranger owners, their enthusiasm um, encouraged me to want to pick that design. The first one was designed by a gentleman in Sydney by the name of Gale, Mr. Gale. The boat wasn't built by the Gale family, it was built by a fellow by the name of Billy Fisher in the suburb of La Peru in Sydney. Even though your boat's the same design, you've built it differently? Yeah, so my, my Ranger is exactly the same lines as um, the original Ranger, um, Cliff Gale's Ranger he originally designed, but I've built it. Um, it's not carbon planked, it's a lot more modern construction. It's cold molded out of three layers of red cedar, Australian red cedar, um, spotted gum keel, and spotted gum ring frames um, stationed approximately every metre apart. And then um, I've used black butt stringers and rib bands. Um, and then it's got a layer of fiberglass over the outside of the hull and then a ply deck and a layer of glass over that. But um, it's built ex to the exact shape of the original Ranger, but a lot mo more modern construction. Without their help, it would have been very difficult because um, there was a lot of times <laughs> during while I was building it that I would have liked to have just gone down to Sydney Harbour and taken a few more measurements or double checked on things, you know, um, because pretty much all I had was those photos, measurements that I took, and then um, the loftings that um, Ian Smith had kindly. Um, given me, which um, I think Ian and um, Simon Sadovan had taken the lines off. So Ian kindly gave me those loftings. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, when I first became aware of the, of the Rangers, I didn't really like them. I wasn't, wasn't impressed. They, I could see they were a good boat and people looked after them, but uh, I didn't particularly like the look of them. Um, 
So uh, I, I, I built two other boats about that same size. I knew they were a good size boat to have. And 24, 26 feet is about the right size for, uh, for a, a Sydney Harbour boat as far as I'm concerned. Just uh, easy to sail alone if you wish or you can still take people with you. Uh, easy to uh, maintain yourself, you don't need a whole team to do that, although it helps. The range is nice because it's, it, it, it's everything. It's, it's a motorboat, a fishing boat, a sailing boat. It's the, he, does, he describes it as the smallest, fast, heavy cruiser in Australia. <laughs> For its size. Yeah. They can sail well and they can sail safely. They will never let you down. If you want the boat to go there, it will go. If there's a problem, it's me or the crew. The boat will never let anybody down. Range, range in the 50 knot breeze with a spit, with that little, that's the same little spinning as you saw before. And uh, of course, the, in the photograph, it, you can see it's 50 knots there. Mm. and. Uh, I, I beat all our division out of sight also. I beat most of the first division because I had a spitter and she was rich and she was absolutely flew. So I started off with um, milling a lot of my own timber for the boat. Um, we also um, cast the keel, which that was a whole process. Um, borrowed a big um, steel drum from a friend and um, collected a lot of lead. There was 1.8 ton of lead, and um, made a mould up, and um, and the whole lot I tried to pretty much do myself from making patterns for all the. Um, I didn't do the actual bronze castings, but um, doing all the patterns and everything like that, rather than just buying. Well, you probably a lot of the products you can't buy off the shelf, but yeah, tried to um, do a lot of it myself. Yeah, I've always, always had this dream of building my own boat since I started my apprenticeship 25 years ago. So it was a great um, thing to um, achieve. And um, I, I also built the Ranger um, as the original boat was intended for, and that was as a family boat to go sailing with my family and um, fishing as the original ranger. I haven't built it as a um, racing boat as a lot of the rangers are today. Even though my hull probably would be a very good racing um, boat because of the construction, but um, it's not what I intended to use it for. I intended to use it for myself and my family as a um, small day sailor cruising boat and fishing boat. Why would we not notice you fell overboard when you were right next to me? No, I couldn't be